ambulance. Get the police. No, no, don't. I'm okay. I'm fine. Just leave me alone. I look, I, I look. Really I said I'm okay. Please. Sal, this one is the winner. Hope you're right, buddy. Who do you like, New England or Miami? Nobody deserves to win that game. Miami. Uh, Judy. Fill me in, Sal. 1032, no, no, no. Larceny in progress. 1031, robbery in progress. I thought a 1032 was a pedestrian struck in a crosswalk. No, 1053, and you don't have to be in a crosswalk. <sighs> I'm never going to get my gold shield. Well, that's because you're cramming, man. You turn your brain to guacamole. You gotta learn the material, let it seep in. Seep? Seep. Well, what are you gonna do, Doug? Sleep with the books under your pillow? I'm gonna wing it. Let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, well, not everybody has a capacity for useless codes and numbers like you, Doug. Well, I've always considered it a gift. Are you gonna take the detective's exam? Oh, yeah, I got a letter of recommendation from my cell block captain. Sal? I don't even know why I enter this thing. I haven't won yet. Hey, you do, buddy. Yeah, well. Hey, how you guys doing at Rosalita's? Uh, we're doing real good. I got hired yesterday. Hanson uh, got in tight with the last kid who just got knocked around. Hey, that's good. Excuse me, Captain. You got two sets of picks here. Yeah. Well, what's the story? Well, see, Sal, this first one is based on logic, you know, handicapping, everything I know about the teams involved. What's the other one about? Oh, I just went the opposite direction with every game. H.T. Aoki, reporting for duty, sir. Hey. Harry. Harry. Does this guy know how to make an entrance or what? Nice walking stick. Hey, hey, my turn, my turn. Uh, how you doing? Yeah, you're you're looking look. great, Doug. <laughs> Harry, you're looking good yourself. How you feeling? Mm, not bad. Still hurt a little bit when I breathe deep. Yeah, well, it's good to have you back here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to be back. <laughs> um, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting back out there again. It's a real ID? Yes, it's a real ID. When's your birthday? April Don't think about it. April 4th, 1968. What's your sign? Why do you want to buy me a drink? Keep the line moving, huh? Have a nice time, cutie. You're like 30. Get in there. Hey. hey, neighbor. What's up? 
Oh, Lori Sigmund, this is Tom, somebody or other. He's on the third floor of Ruler Hall. Uh, Lori runs this place. That's assistant manager. Welcome to Rosalita's. Well, thank you. Can I buy you guys a beer? Yeah, anytime. Hey, Larry, free dress over here, please. You got it. Thanks. You run me issue. You got steel soles. What about 50 bucks? Well? Yeah, you should get a pair. You can do heavy stomping. Them sneakers ain't gonna do you much good. Well, I see what you mean, but uh, if you are gonna do heavy stomping, shouldn't you have heavy artillery? Forget it, man. You're getting into too much trouble. You ought to be carrying a knife or anything like that. I recommend Mr. Dura ready. All 12 inches. Thing carries four size dealkaline batteries. Can you swing on somebody with this? He ain't getting up. And perfectly legal, too. Best of all, people don't even know that she got it. Mr. Dura ready. Cover the door for a sec. I want to see you in the game. Okay, they just never close at the end. They don't have that killer instinct. <laughs> Is she great or what? You got a minute? Uh, I'm entertaining friends. Got a present for you. Look, oh, in that case. <laughs> so, what's your major? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm undeclared. You? Grad school, business. Hey, could you excuse me for a second? My kidneys are gonna explode. <laughs> Down the stairs and to the right. Other? Bosom buddies. Maybe Daryl's the wrong guy. Maybe he's a dealer. You know, I heard Lenny tell him to meet him at the dorm at like 1 o'clock in the morning. That's kind of weird. Maybe it is drugs. Well, then why would he be beating him up? Maybe he owes him money. Maybe it's about a girl. Uh, I don't know. What's up at the door? Not too much. You know, we just check IDs, take a guy's keys away, bounce a couple dudes. Nothing too rough. Doug. <clears throat> I'm thinking about quitting. Quitting what? Well, you mean like turning in your badge? Oh, come on, man. You just got it back. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't quit being a cop. It's in your blood, man. Your father was a cop. You my biographer? No, no, I'm just saying, I mean, it's the natural thing for you to do. I mean, what the hell are you gonna do anyway? Well, I'm gonna check my options. Oh, like, there's a really long list, is there? I I'm sorry I said that. We just, wait, wait, we just not do anything crazy without checking with me first, okay? Say okay. Okay. I'm a little hungry. Can I eat? That'll be 16.50. I got it. No, no, I got it. I, I'm buying. Look. Compliments of Bernie Kosar and the Cleveland Browns. You bet the game. Yeah, I got 50 bucks off of Lenny. The bouncer. We prefer door security. Keep it, babe.
Laurie, how you doing? Good. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay, we'll see you in there. Initials on them and everything. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Hey, Tommy, man, come on in. Uh, you, you play poker? Yeah, sure. All right, gang, we got a seventh. No, it, it, it's 200 bucks to get in. How can you pass this thing up, Harry? It means a pay increase. A change in rank, more responsibility. Look, I just don't feel up to it, OK? But the detective's exam only comes up once every two years. I know the schedule. So you're just going to wait two more years just because you don't feel like you can let yourself get psyched up? Hey, I mean, what is it with this exam and you, huh? I mean, why is it so important that I take it? I'm sorry. What's that? You're starting to give me a pain. Look, Harry, it, it's just that I don't want to see you let an opportunity like this go by. That's all. I appreciate that. Then you'll take the test? No. You took the damn thing two years ago. Things were different. I think we're on a gambling case. Tell me about it. Lenny and Daryl were in a high-stakes poker game at the dorm last night. That's what the meeting was about. Did you stay and play? Couldn't afford the buy-in. All right, I'll get you some money. Hey, you, you think those kids getting beat up had something to do with gambling debts? Could be. Look, see if you can find out who's behind Lenny. I doubt a bouncer's in charge of this thing. <sighs> Douglas. Can I get you anything? Cold soda would be nice. <laughs> well, okay, come on, I got you. Two? Two? One minute. One minute to the Three? You got it. Ten? Blue, got you. Okay. Uh, give me ten bucks in the favor. Uh, ten on equipoise. Equipoise? Why not? Uh, he tested positive for steroids two weeks ago. He's just coming off suspension. I like the name. Okay, got you. Hold on, hold on. Calm down. We'll get you all. Please close all wagering for the next race. Look, bet the favorites. You'll, you'll get a good price. They're in the gate. Just go with me on this. Bet 50. 50 on the favorite. Give me 20 on the favorite. Thanks, man. Ooh, nice roll. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, uh, hey, hey, do you know where I can get some real action? You bet football? You know where I can get a bet? How much you want to bet? Uh, you know, three, four hundred. I can take care of that. Who do you like? 
UCLA. Forget UCLA. Take Arizona State. Are you betting Arizona State? Actually, I'm a little tapped out right now. Look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you bet 300 bucks on Arizona State? If you win, cut me in for a small test. How much of a test? Yeah, what everything's fair. And what if I lose? Hey, you're going to lose on UCLA. Look, just go with me on this. I know what I'm doing. It was Notre Dame 42, Purdue 14. Nebraska defeated UCLA 35-21. And in a game just completed, Arizona State 37, University of Houston 10. We'll be back with more scores and highlights after this. Petit bon arm on the outside. Val Ganser looking strong if he can get through. They come for home. Shulich on the outside. Mr. Happy at the rail. Here comes Val Ganser now uh, flying on the outside. 20%. Whatever you think's fair. Thanks. Hey, do you book through Lenny? Yeah. Look, uh, what are you doing for the rest of the afternoon? I know how we can double this. The next race. No, no, forget the races. Horses are for suckers. It's tricky for last, right? Right. Because if we let this, plus the money from this afternoon's game, ride, we're playing with their money now. Now, there's an 8 o'clock game tonight on TBS. Yeah, LSU versus Mississippi State at home. Now, yes, that's a lot of points to lay, but I'm certain they'll roll over these guys. Just go with me on this. Look, you won't regret it. I'm talking a dead bolt lock here. Really kind of amazing. The kid took my 300 bucks and turned it into two grand. I know. I bet LSU, too. I'm up 600. You bet LSU? Yeah, sure. I figure, what the hell, why not? Well, for one thing, you don't know anything about LSU. Sure I do. Yeah? Tell me one thing about LSU. It's in Louisiana. Where in Louisiana? Who's their quarterback? <laughs> what kind of offense do they run? I don't know. Who cares? That's not the point. There's action. I'm hot. You're not hot. You only bet LSU because you saw Darrell. Oh, man, listen, man, I'm telling you, you're wrong about this. Yes, I was there when he made the bet. But I knew he was right. And I knew LSU was going to win. I had this feeling. I'm on a streak. I've been right about everything so far. I'll tell you something else. I am going to drill that detective's exam tomorrow. I know that, too. Besides, this is a pretty good way to find out who the book is.
drill it? Nothing but net, man. Who won a Jets game? The Jets lost. By how many? Ten points. Yeah! I can't believe they have these things on Sunday. I gotta make a call before my interview, huh? I'll see you at Rosalita's, okay? Well, I... If you were to make detective, would you want to remain in the Jump Street program? Well, I realize that with a promotion comes the possibility of reassignment, and I would be proud to serve the department wherever I'm needed. I see you received the Medal of Valor for conspicuous bravery. It sort of came with the bullet. How long have you been back on duty? Just a few days, sir. What does making detective mean to you, officer? Pay increase, change in rank, more responsibility. Are we almost done? You spent some time with the public relations department. Oh, yes, sir. I was um, Officer Milkarton in the school safety program. And you're a college graduate. Oh, you have to be to be Officer Milkarton. <laughs> ah, good you here. You got my money? Um, I, I got a little bit of bad news. What, we won? LSU won, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a lot, because like I said, we blew them out of the stadium. And you had trouble collecting? Uh, no, no, not at all. The trouble was the Giants. The Giants? Yeah. Well, see, I had this really good line on the Giants this morning, and you weren't around, and I had this really good feeling. And I knew you'd want to go along with me on the play. And? And it was a fluke, man. I mean, Sims gets sat, coughs the thing up with two minutes to go, Phoenix scores a meaningless touchdown. What are you trying to tell me, Daryl? We lost. We lost? Yeah, well, we're partners. I, I, I let it all ride on the Giants. How much? A lot. How much? Four grand. You bet $2,000 of my money without telling me? Yeah, well, we're partners. Look, I lost $2,000. We gotta talk, partner. You know, I don't know what you're getting so bent out of shape for. It's just making a few extra bucks on a football game. It's not legal. It's legal to bet in Las Vegas. It's legal to go to the track and bet the horses. The state runs a lottery. That's different because the money then goes to education. The money, the money is a tax on the poor. It's a numbers rack. The odds of winning are like worse than getting hit by a bolt of lightning. In Oregon, in Oregon, they have a lottery based on the NFL. What about that? Well, then you're rooting for the spread. You're not even interested in the teams. So is everybody else, man. Wake up. Football's the most popular game in the country. Why? They play only once a week, and you can bet on it. If it wasn't for the point spread, it wouldn't be half as popular. Point spread keeps the teams even. Keeps the betters interested. Keeps them from switching the channels. Because nobody knows who's going to win until the last second. But you think you do. I happen to be very hot. I have a feel for how the teams are playing right now. Especially the pros. Well, what about you? You're playing uh, Sal's parlay cards. For a dollar. A dollar, five bucks, 50 bucks, what's the difference? The difference is that Sal's not gonna break my kneecaps if I lose. What'd you get on the written? Oh, I, uh, I, I did pretty well. Got an 810. 810, and that's really high.
Right. This is better. You're gonna like this one. You're gonna like yeah, this one. It better be better. So anyway, this guy loses five thousand bucks on basketball. Yeah. Then summer comes along. He loses ten thousand dollars on baseball. Now comes football season. He drops fifteen grand. So he goes to his bookie and says, "Yo, this is terrible. I lost thirty thousand dollars this year." So the bookie says, "Why don't you try hockey?" And the guy says, "What are you nuts? What do I know about hockey?" That's, that's a good one. I gotta remember that. What's the matter? You seem down. I failed a test that I should have nailed. I used to fail them all the time. You ought to get a tutor. Tutor wouldn't help me with this one. Hey, this will cheer you up. I'm gonna kick some ass today. Oh, yeah? On who? Some puke that owes money. Owes money to who? All you need to know is we have 20% of what we collect. Well, it's just, you know, I like to know what I'm working for I do something like that. What are you, a cop or something? Yeah, you know, I work undercover. By day, I like to fail tests, and at night, I check IDs at a beer joint. Forget it. I'll do it myself. No, 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 I'm here. OK. Who's the puke? Wait, don't hit me. You got the money? No, no, but I will. I swear, just give me a couple hours. 60, 80, 200. Look, that's it. Look, that's only $200. This card, it's got a $1,000 line of credit. Yes, but the cash advance limit is 200. So anyway, I'm a little strapped for cash, and this would really help me out. Right, so let me get this straight. I give you 20 bucks, and you're going to give me $25 worth of gas. On my credit card. <laughs> sure, why not? Great, great. Keep pumping, man. Keep pumping. Jackpot! 1200 for the semester? Mm hmm I thought we were getting an increase. Grad students only. My student loan check hasn't come through yet. There seems to be a problem with the paperwork. My parents are out of town. I know my tuition is due. I can give you an extension for a week, but if the money isn't here by next Friday at 3, your registration will be pulled. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you kidding? You cashed out your tuition check? Yeah. Look, there's almost $2,000 here. I thought we owed more. We do. We're still almost 1000 short with the VIG and all. So much. Hey. It's only money. It's your tuition, man. I think of it as borrowing for a week. All right. Maybe we can make a partial payment. I'll go talk to him. No, no, I don't think we should pay him back at all. What, are you crazy? You want to get your head beat in again? I think we should take the four grand and bet it on Monday night's game. See, that way we get even. I get my tuition money, you get your two grand. What do you think? That's $4,000. Yeah. Isn't that great? We'd be betting $4,000. You lose, this guy's really gonna hurt you. Hey, man, you gotta be on the edge. That's the rush. Don't you get it? I think you have a problem. Yeah. I need two grand by next week. No, no, I mean with the gambling. Oh, right. Here it comes. I, I'm, I'm a compulsive gambler. I can't help myself. Well... I'm in college. What am I gonna lose? My house, my car, my wife? Look, I'm on my own. I'm putting myself through school. I don't have a problem. I pulled this off today, and I can double this money tonight because I know who's going to win. Daryl, do you realize you don't do anything but gamble? OK. I ski, I play tennis, I collect rare stamps. Can I make my bet now? I think you're out of your mind. You cash in your tuition money, and you want to let it ride on Monday night football? Hey, Lenny, I was just coming to see you. You got the money? Uh, yeah, yeah, listen. Actually, we want to bet it. Hey, who's talking to you? You want to bet four grand? Yes. We have 2,000 we can show you, but we want to bet it along with another 2,000. All right, who do you like? We want to bet with the book. All bets go through me. All right. But just be sure to tell your boss that you passed on booking a $4,000 bet. What do you think? You know, I'm kind of new at this, but uh, four grand, that's a lot of money. I think that he would uh, want to take that bet, especially with a couple of losers like these two.
Daryl, for the tenth time, I'm making this bet. You just stay out. Well, I don't know. I know. Okay. Good. Maybe, maybe it'll change our luck. Why don't you just go back to the dorm and wait for me? Don't forget, don't lay more than two and a half points. I got it, man. Cincinnati minus two and a half. Okay. Come on, this is a lock. It's a lock. Okay? I understand you want to make a large bet on Monday night football. So what is it you find so unusual? That she's a woman or that Daryl didn't know who he was betting with? Both. Oh, there are a lot of women gamblers, Hanson. What makes you think she's a gambler? They're all gamblers. It's just that the smarter ones become the books. You know, chances are she bets a lot of what she collects. We know so much about this stuff. Oh, I've made a few bets in my day. You know, I know this guy who waits until the last minute every Monday night, and then he bets on the team that lines up on the left-hand side of his screen for kickoff. How'd you do? Won 75% of the games last year. That's some system. Yeah, well, there are no systems, Tom. You play long enough, you're gonna lose. The odds are always in favor of the house. Not last night. Bengals, huh? What do you want me to do? Well, bookmaking's a minor offense. You'll get a small fine at that. In order to get an assault charge, you're gonna have to lose. Big. Okay, see you later. Excuse me, detective. Why don't you just say it, Doug? Say what? You think I'm a detective because I'm a woman. A black woman. Double minority. Oh, that's just perfect. What else could it possibly be? I have a college education. Oh, that's just great. I have twice as many busts as you. So while you're in college, I'm on the street. Well, at least college taught me you got to put in the work. I got 810 on the written. Maybe it was the interview. I nailed the interview. Had those guys eaten out of my hands. What are you complaining about? You didn't even study. I didn't have to. I knew the codes backwards and forwards. So you winged it? I winged it. Oh, you're so arrogant. You're so proud of it. What are you trying to say? That you did better on the written? What did you get? I got a 950. 950? 950. You didn't make detective and it was your own fault, not my fault and not the department's fault. More? I want you to cut Daryl off. Is that what Daryl wants? He needs help. No kidding. He came in here today and made a bet on the Dodgers. He's betting on baseball. And you took it. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm a bookmaker, not a guidance counselor. Well, I thought you were his friend. Now look, no one forces Daryl to bet. No one puts a gun to his head and says, pick a team. Why do you do this? Let's just say I'm working my way through school. Hey, I saw demand and I filled it. They don't bet with me, they'll bet with someone else. They're losers. They want to lose. Oh, you ought to know. You want to make a bet, Dr. Freud? Yes, I want to make a bet. 2,000 on Tampa Bay. <laughs> Tampa Bay. I rest my case. Do we have a bet? Hey, you tell me who has the problem. Yeah. Yeah, probably Thanksgiving. Sure. Yeah, that, that'd be great. How's Pop? <laughs> really, that's great. Diane? 
Good. Good. Listen, Mom. I was wondering if you could send me some more money. Yeah, I know. No, see, I, I had to use that for school books. Yeah, well, you know, taking a lot of classes this semester. You know, the usual. Yeah, English and some history, sociology, uh, journalism. Yeah, right, I'm taking that journalism class we talked about. Yeah, maybe I'll be a reporter. Yeah, sports reporter. Uh, listen, Mom, about the money. I'd say about five thousand dollars. Well, I thought maybe you could cash in some of those savings bonds. Yeah, I, I know. No, Mom, please calm down. No. No, I, I'm, I'm not in any trouble. Yeah. I know Dad works hard. But remember, you always said you were saving those bonds for college. Well, you know, here I am in college. Would you just think about it, okay? No. Mom, please don't don't say no. Mom, please don't. Mom. What's going on, Tommy? The Dodgers lost. No. That was the tuition money. Yeah. What's he doing here? I think you have a problem. Maybe we should talk, partner. Okay, so what Einstein was trying to say is that there's no preferred reference frame. In other words, if I was standing on top of a train that was moving the speed of light, and I threw an orange at you. Can I have a word with him, please? I believe you owe me some money? I believe I've decided not to pay. What are you out of your mind? Listen, man, gambling's illegal. Call a cop. Yeah. Excuse us, coming through. Do, beat the money on me with a flashlight? Mr. Duraretti. You're the big man with the big bets. Won't just pay off? Well, if you think I'm gonna give two grand to some chick, you're out of your mind. He ain't got no fear of women. Dollars. Why don't you get Lori out here to kick my ass? Because I do it for her. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. You're under arrest. Don't even think about it, Lenny, because I have a gun. You believe this crap? Actually, I do, because, well, I'm a cop, too. You got a gun? No. <laughs> Cuffs? Yeah, go ahead. 
Well, you rest. I'll get it. Thanks. You're under arrest. For what? Assault. That's it? Is that all we got? No, we got more. Oh, yeah, well, we got the uh, conspiracy. Conspiracy to commit bookmaking. We got bookmaking. What else? Extortion. Personal favorite, extortion. And robbery? Robbery. Robbery. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> you guys are wasting your time. You think I'm all alone in this? What are you trying to tell us? Let's just say there's people behind me and people behind them. And if you went up high enough, you might be surprised who's up there. Why don't you give us some names? We'll jot them down. You guys are amazing. Look, there'll be somebody here tomorrow picking up where I left off. And you want to know why? No. People love to bet. You're starting to sound like him. Puffs? Yes, and a gag. <laughs> you like doing this? Let's just say I'm working my way through school. Shall we? There you go, buddy. Football pool, week four. You're not gonna play? Why aren't you gonna play? What are you, nuts? What do I know about hockey? Good night, Sal. Hey, you got a minute? Sure. I wanted to apologize. That's okay, Doc. It's not okay. I acted like a real, I acted bad. You know, I, I, I shouldn't have been assuming. Well, you were frustrated, I mean, I can understand that. Uh, it's more than that. I was so sure, so sure that there was no way I was gonna lose. I'm not studying for that test. So I shouldn't have gambled on. Well, at least you understand. I'm starting to. Well, good night, Doug. Good night, Detective. 